Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me. Louise, we're on the alphabet. We're in B and we're playing with Becca today. I bet if I said name something from Becca, there's two things that I feel like would come to mind. Maybe three, but two for sure. That would be their under eye corrector and champagne pop. Possibly their under eye brightening powder. Now, with that said, do I have those? Yes, I do. Did I use those? Yes and no. I did not use the under eye brightener because, well, no. I, that, I mean, A, it's now a splash box, but the one I have is the original Becca and it stinks. It smells like crayon, so I'm not using it. Um, what I have for foundation is my Natasha Denona. What is it called? Face Glow Foundation today, along with the Natasha Denona Concealer. I did set the under eye with, now, let's, let's get into this, with this, be a light. So, I set the under eye and the T-zone with this right here. Now, I have the light to medium and the medium to dark. I don't know why, but I have them. So I use this to set the under eyes and T-zone, and I use that to set, to set the rest of the face. I forgot I had this. And y'all, I have also the Becca and the one that they did with Chloe and Malik, Malika maybe, I have that. But I decided to go for this one instead because I forgot how much I like this. Like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I love that. I love the way, maybe not in video but like outside in the sun I love the way I look like it just looks so flawless but yet natural like you know you're wearing makeup but it's it's like so so minuscule amount you know what I mean is what it looks like granted I had to build up the blush the bronzer but it doesn't look it you know what I mean it just looks so pretty, so pretty. Now, I also use the Becca Primer, which I, this is the first time I even pumped this out. It is the Velvet Blurring Primer. Technically, the purple tube one is my favorite, and I do have it, but it's not opened, and I didn't want to open it because then that starts the, you know, process of it going old. And I know I love that, so I'm keeping that for another day. Now, I did use this for, like I said, shoot just stuck my finger right in that. That's what I needed to do was use up uh, what anyway I did use the bronzer and the blush for my cheeks and then of course you know the highlighter I used champagne pop which to be fair I like it I don't know where I put it but I do like it I put it back in my door probably knowing me but it actually isn't my favorite Pearl is actually my favorite, and Snapdragon is my favorite blush by Becca. I don't even know where I put the champagne pop highlighter now, y'all. Anyway, that is what I'm wearing. For lip liner, I'm wearing Whirl, and then I put the Becca lipstick. I don't know where I put it out. It was the collab between Malik. It was the nude one. I think it was the Chloe um, edition of the lipstick. But I don't see where I put it. I'm sure we'll come into contact with it, though. Throughout the video, I'll find it sitting here somewhere. It's hard to tell with me, to be fair. I'm all over the place all the time. But for the eyeshadow palette, the only eyeshadow I have from them is this one here. And it's called Pearl Glow Shimmering Eye Palette. And I actually picked mine up at a Marshalls a long time ago. And I do like it. It is very nice, and it's not what you typically would think it would be. Like, look at the shifts in those first, like that one there, and that one there. I mean, again, this is nothing revolutionary, but it is easy to work with. It's so pretty, but let's get started. Oh, here's the Becca lipstick right here. I found it. It is in yours truly. And then I topped it with um, Buxom. 
Russian something. Uh, what is it? Here it is. White Russian. I put it in the middle. You know, the cooling glosses that are so popular now, you know that box of them came out with those years prior, right? Like, I don't know what all the hype is about it now compared, because, I mean, they've always been around. I mean, granted, they're in maybe different packaging now, but I still think Buxom kind of has the best look. I've never even taken that off. That's a nice mirror in this thing, though. I'll give it that, too. All right, so the first shade we're going to go into is this pinky shade. We're going to get started with it. I will say, for what this palette is, I really like the look that came out of it. I do think you have options from day to night. It goes light enough to dark enough. I mean, I have no complaints with this eyeshadow palette. You do have to like a lighter formula, like a lighter pigmented, buildable. It does build. Very blendable, baked almost. I mean, it's just... I kind of wonder how Becca went out, but then I kind of can see because like with everything Morphe, all of those brands, they were so hyped and this was before I got back into makeup. So I do have a good bit of, you know, these products, but yet not nearly what others would have that were into makeup at that time because I was coming in at the end of, at the end of an era really. So... I don't have much, but what I do have, I'm shocked at the brands that are actually closing down versus the ones that are still thriving in a way, because I would have never guessed it. I really wouldn't have. So you can see that that pink does build up. Again, if you just wanted it lighter, you could have went lighter. If you wanted to build it, you could build it. But it just lays so nice on the skin too. But again, it kind of reminds me of what is the brand? Lard Geller, I think, with the baked shadows. It kind of reminds me of that. So, we're going to go into this blue shade now to darken up the crease in the outer corner. Like, I do think they look nice on aging eyes, like mine in particular. <laughs> because of all the creases and folds and all that. But it is different look than the eyeshadows I tend to usually gravitate to. So it is different in that aspect. I did have to kind of get used to it in a way because it's, it is a different formula. Not to say it's bad, not to say it's better because that's not, you know, it's just different. But I do like the formula overall. I like how easy it, it is to use it. It is pretty though. Take that same shade and we're gonna go along the lower lash line with it. But really where I think Becca shines is their complexion. And I think they've always been known for that, to be fair. And probably because that's, you know, the hype behind the brand. You know, when you think of Becca, you think of Champagne Pop. You think of their under eye concealer. You maybe even think of their primers. I know that would be the purple primer. That was something I would have thought of. Um, eyeshadow, not so much. Not to say that it's not good, though. And of course, for the price point that I got this at, I'd be like, yes, absolutely. But at full price, maybe not, you know? I don't know what this would be at full price. I don't recall. I can tell you what I paid for it. I paid, I think, like 15 bucks for it. Maybe 20. We're going to go into this black shade now. Well, it's more like a charcoal, really. And we're just going to build it up a little more in this outer corner. And then take it through. 
But yeah, I have no issues with this palette. And you can go more cool tone or you can go more warm tone because there's a brown in here too. So I do like that about the palette. I do like the unique colors, like lip shades they have, but yet they have everyday shades in here. So I do like that about it. So if you want to spice it up, you could a little bit, or if you want to keep it neutral. The palette still leans more casual, even with the colors that it does have, it's not like it's that bold, but it is more casual than like crazy color. But pretty nonetheless. Y'all, I ate popcorn earlier. And every time, I don't know about you all, but the, there's always kernels that are stuck in your teeth. And I don't get it. Every time it happens to me. But do you see how easy it just blends out? Like, and y'all know, dark colors scare me. A black is gonna scare me to pieces, but not this. And the big shades in here, oh, so pretty. So metallic-y, like, wet looking, like, gorgeous is, is, is the, you know, what comes to mind, to be fair. And I kind of did forget about this palette. I won't lie. I did. I don't know how, but I did. Whereas the face palette, I knew as soon as I saw it again, I remember what I thought my skin looked like out in the sun. And I think I bought the um, medium dark because at the time when I got these, don't come for me, but I was tanning a lot. And I think that's why I initially have them both. But I, I you know, we're gonna go into this like mermaid color right here. Look at that, look how that looks. Like when the light hits it, it's gorgeous. And we're gonna place it like, look, it's on the brush, but it's nothing like what goes on the lid. It's craziness. Look at that. I mean, it just looks like a mermaid scale. That's what it reminded me of as soon as I put it to my lid. I was like, I look like a mermaid. Was I going for that today? Probably not. Did I end up there? Yes. Yes, I look like I'm going to the beach with the fishes and go swimming. And I love everything about it. Like every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, mm, look at that. And you can build it up or you could like sheer it out as just like a wash of color. It's just whatever you want to do. Do you all have this palette by chance or did you get rid of it? Or do you have any other palettes? Because I'm sure they had, they've had to have had other palettes, like, without a doubt, right? Well, there went that. Oh, I can reach it. I can reach it. I can reach it. I got it. Yes. Um, we're going to go into this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. That's, like, a perfect inner corner for me for, like, almost all these looks that I could create with this palette. But I do feel like that this palette is more for the everyday person. Maybe that ain't into makeup the way I am, but just wanting to create really pretty looks easily and that look nice on the skin. And that's kind of how I see this whole line now. Even the highlighter versus today's highlighters. Like, I know back then it was like a real winner. And it is still very pretty, don't get me wrong. It's it's a very pretty highlighter. But, is it like the Natasha Denona highlighter? No, and that's my new favorite.
I do think it can be built up. It can look natural or built up. But again, I don't think champagne pop is necessarily my color choice. I think I like um, Pearl. Is that the name of it? Hold on. But I didn't use it because I knew it. Opal. Opal is one of my favorites. And I also have their pink setting powder that I never, haven't even used it, I don't think. Maybe when I first got it, I used it. And I probably should pull that out and use it up. But I'm not really into the pink setting powders, to be fair. But I gotta, usually the things I got were say, like travel sizes. But I got a big old container of that setting powder. I don't know where I thought I was going with it. I probably thought Becca would never go away, so therefore I'd always have it on hand for when I go to do a video. Little did I know they weren't always going to be around. I'm going back into that blue shade, gray blue. And that's the other thing, it's like a gray, blue, purple shade. Like, it, the shades in here are a little bit different than what you would think. And I like that about this palette, too, to be fair. For the waterline, I'm wearing the ColourPop uh, Making Waves, I think, or Blown Away, Blown Away. And that's my newest favorite liner right now, between... If I want something like that, or I'll wear the peach fake wake, the tart one, or exit the white liner. Those are the three eyeliners that seem to be sitting there. And I don't know, I think I need to buy a couple more of these ones if they're still available because I really like that color and the metallic sparkle that it gives to the waterline. I think it's really, really pretty. So, all right, then for uh, mascara. Where's my mirror? I'm going to use the Gucci mascara for the top lashes. But I do. I just think this is a really easy. I mean, it's definitely colorful, but it's not like bold in your face, you know, colorful. But to maybe to some people it would be. I don't know compared to the looks that I usually do, this is absolutely nothing. For the nail polish I'm wearing is uh, Tea Time by LA Colors. I've really been enjoying that in the Belief brand at Dollar General for nail polish, and I think it is affordable. And it lasts a good bit. At least for me. Okay. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm using the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I don't know, there's just something different about this look that I kind of like. I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it. And it could be that it was just simply so easy to, to do my makeup today.
like it was really effortless and it quit. It was like no fuss, no muss. Like the products just did what they were supposed to do quick and easy. Even having to build up, it was still quick and easy. And then in natural light, like outside, it just looks so, you know, natural, which is so weird to me because even most of the time when I'm like, oh, my makeup looks good, it does look good. It does. I'm not lying, but I can tell I'm wearing makeup, and I mean, not like an over amount of it, but you can just tell where this just sort of like blends all into the skin and just effortless. I mean, that's about all I can say with it. I really thought this turned out good. It shocks me each time I, I try a brand that's no longer here that I have. I'm like, how is this here? Yet, this brand is still thriving. Like, it just, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me. But then I think, well, who's buying what? Who's talking about what? And there you go. Because when Becca was being talked about all the time, you know, And that worries me because it's like Marc Jacobs. I adored that brand. Of course, now it's sold. And I know it's coming back. But obviously, it's going to come back with different formulas. And that is scary because there is a lot of Marc Jacobs brand that I like. That I don't want them to change a thing. But you know they didn't buy the formulas along with the, you know, name. Most likely. And or reformulation, so most of the time are never any good. Sometimes it is fine, but most of the time it never turns out good. But uh, this look turned out really good. I am really pleased. Let me know down in the comments, do you have anything from Becca still? Or did you let it go? Just wondering. Because I don't think I would let this go, even though I know you can't get it no more. I could see me taking this on vacation or anywhere and creating really pretty looks with it, but yet I have the, like, a neutral brown and that one there even, and then that on the lid. Like, there's neutral colors to this, bronzy colors, cool toned, warm toned, day to night, like, there's just so much that I don't think I'd get rid of it. I really don't. It may be a palette that I try to use up, though, maybe. But then, I don't know, like, the formula is different than any other formula I have outside of, like I said, like, Laura Geller. That's the only formula I can think of that's like this. Yeah, so I don't know. Now, the blushes and stuff, that reminds me of Hourglass. But, I think there's a little bit more pigment in this than the hourglass, if that makes sense. Both are pretty much, you can't go overboard with, but there, there is a difference. And just like the Jaclyn Hill, it's like in between. No, I would put it, as far as pigment wise, I put Jaclyn and then hourglass and then Becca but yet all three of them you really can't go wrong with you know what I mean but I will say that I did enjoy playing with Becca and we will move on to the next B if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when I upload I upload every day if it's Sunday unless there's a new launch and I should be getting in the new Natasha Denona highlighter any day now so I'm excited for that the uh, number two I have number one but I want number two I bought it it's coming I can't wait so when that gets in I will see you know do one on each side that way you can see on my skin tone what it will look like but that's all I have for today I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one until then stay safe and stay healthy bye